To create product interims, first select your system level, and then select the Create Product button. For this demonstration, we're going to be creating a single product. That means it won't have any sizes or any colors, it's just going to be a product on its own with one variant. If you're booking in multiple items, we have a validation box here, which allows you to scan the barcode, the manufacturer's barcode, on the product and check to see if it exists in the system already. If you scan the manufacturer's barcode and it doesn't exist in the system, you'll get this little green plus here. And that means that this manufacturer's barcode will be assigned to the product when the product is created. If the product does exist in the system already, with this barcode assigned to it, this button here will glow and you can click on it and that will take you to the product. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is begin to fill in your categories. Now, our retail type is going to be aromatics and candles. And as this attribute value already exists in the system, there's no green plus here like there is up here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of these attributes and I'll fast forward it and I'll come back when it's time to fill in the details. Okay, now the details. You can see already that the tax has been filled in at 20% and the locations have been filled in as the default locations in the system. To select a supplier, click the three dots here. If your supplier doesn't already exist, you can click the create supplier button. Otherwise, choose one from the list. Okay, that's great. Now just fill in your cost prices and your retail prices. And then you can go ahead and fill in your stock quantities separated by a comma corresponding to the above branches and then fill in any tags you may have. Once you've done this, click Accept. Now your new product has been created.